Hello everybody, welcome to JLF TV, I'm J Lab, and this is Football Manager 2016 Unemployment Challenge and this is a bit late this video isn't it? A day late and it shouldn't have happened. I shouldn't have had to make you guys wait but apparently I've done so. But compared to last season in the predictions we're doing quite well for ourselves. We've got by 13 places and we've strengthened quite considerably I think. Especially in the defensive positions. I'm going to go through the transfers in this video and then I'm going to go through two months worth of matches in the next video after this one. I'm not sure yet. I just want to get this video sorted out and go over the transfers with you and see where we go from there. But we're currently expected to be in 10th place, 25 to 1 on to win the league. So if we do that, I'll be very happy. Though we've got Bolton Wanderers top of the table. Yeah, Bolton got relegated to the League 2. I know that happens quite a bit, surprisingly enough. I don't know why that's the case. But I always remember that being the case in other video in other uh, football manager games in the past. And look at this, I've brought a lot of players in. Though admittedly, more than half, at least a couple, handful of them have been in the club before. And I've spent money as well. But anyway, Ryan Innes, we've, I've showed him last time out. And... I'll show him again, but he's a good player. I'm happy I've brought this guy in. And compared to last season, I think we needed to improve our defence. And this guy, for what he does, cheap-wise, does that, really. And he's only being paid £325 a week for the, for the entirety of the season. So I'm not complaining. I'm really not. Then you've got Matthew Riley as well in the side. He's a good talent. I'm actually going to compare the t these two. And that's the difference. And they're very good players. They're both. Well, Matthew Riley is only 20. But Innes is 25. But then I'm going to compare him to another player. Who I bought permanently. And that player is Fred Little. Little's 19. Riley's 20. It's only 9 months difference. But it's still a big thing to say. But I'm very happy I got both these players in the side. But I know we can do better. I know we can potentially do well now that we've got both these players here. I'm very happy we do. Uh, Regan Booty, I finally actually managed to get him. It took me a bit of negotiation with him, and he's perhaps the most paid player in the squad. But I think, considering that this guy is good enough for League One, in my personal opinion, I think it's a good deal to have done, personally. And is good enough for the championship in the future. So if we get promoted, I'd be very happy. Very, very happy. Yeah, Fred Little, we've already gone through when we compared Matthew Riley. So, and we know we're from him from last year as well. So another player that signed on a permanent basis <coughs> after a loan deal last season. Leonardo da Silva Lopez has finally joined us on a permanent basis. It's taken me two, it's taken two years of loans to get it. But we finally got this guy in our team I mean he's not the best player in the world but I'm, he's actually my best wing at the moment to be completely honest with you I know I need to improve the side a bit more but I still feel improvements can be made to the team not just the player I brought Nathan Convery in after last season even if he didn't particularly impress but the fact he's only 21 means he's got room to grow, potentially. I'm very concerned. I'll be very annoyed if someone said to me, why do you buy him? Why do you buy him? He's not good enough for this team. Considering that he's still only 21, he can improve quite a bit still. And he needs a bit more maturity. I don't think he... Yeah, it's the first season he really played a lot of games, so I felt I was giving him an opportunity. Didn't particularly impress, but he can still improve. That's my personal opinion on the matter. Now here's a player that is a new face, and this is Brian Pollock. And he was at Manchester United last season. That's a bit of a jump down, isn't it? But and he's never played for Manchester United, but I'm going to try and get him some game time. He's not our best attacking midfielder. we got Scott Wallace and Simon Lucas for that, but I think this guy is decent for what he is. And he'll make do for a very good backup. And... Okay, well, something's wrong there. What happened there? What the hell's happened there? I've never seen that before. Oh, okay. Fine. But yeah, uh, 
Brian Pollock is not a bad player. I think he's decent for what he is asking for me. And I was just happy to get another good young talent in the side. Take note, I barely buy, uh, barely, barely buy anyone that is over 25. Next player, John Howe. I was so excited when I brought this player in. I really was. And then in pre-season, he broke his leg. He's broke his lower leg, the lower part of his leg, and I was so devastated because it meant he was out for pretty much half the season, if not most of it. I don't know if he can actually, if he's going to suffer for it, because I know going being out of, of play for a long, long, long time, but I'm not sure how this is going to work out, because he's only 19, He was he's better than our other strikers, my opinion. May not may not be correct, but I felt he was very good, and well, he's not the, he's not brilliantly brilliant, but he's still really good. He's only nineteen, and compared to Murphy's twenty nine, and Nichols, who is twenty six, I felt this guy has got a long room to grow in. And I felt when he suffered that injury, my heart just felt fell for him. It was it was just one of those moments you really wish it didn't happen to him, but it just did. And it was just devastating. Uh, Andrew Coffey is another player I brought in. I brought him on trial, saw how he was, and I felt, okay, that's good. He's only being paid £375 a week, so if you want to let him go at the end of the season, I can. And it's not a major concern. I mean, he's not the best. He's only good enough for the conference. But it's not a problem for me. Jack Collins, I considered buying him last season. I did try to buy him last season, I'm correct, actually, I think of it. And it didn't particularly work, but now that his contract expired and he's now given another option for defence, though compared to Bradley Gamston, you might be struggling to get a bit of a good... Uh, might struggle to get into the team at times, but I still feel that Jack Collins is a good player regardless, and he can help me improve the left back position and give Gamson a bit of run for his money in terms of um fighting for the position as helps he's not being paid a grand either but there you go the last player that I've bought and probably not the last player I'm gonna buy is Monty Patterson I wanted another player to challenge Booty for his position and I felt I got that I mean, if I was to compare you to Booty, here we go, Booty would probably come out on top all the time, but if I was to compare him to Booty's previous challenger, Ryan Hall, then I would think that Patterson is the better player here. It doesn't help that Hall is getting close to his mid-30s, and that's when he really starts to decline. But yes, I feel that Patterson was a good player to bring in. I needed to bring another player in, in that position. Um, I'm going to go to the transfer centre now, and I considered buying Edit Lee from Rexon. He was only going to cost me 24 grand, I think, or 22 grand, but I just couldn't justify getting another striker, you know? I wanted to, I wanted to make think that my players can keep hold of their places, and considering that I didn't want to have to worry about John Rowe. I mean, John Rowe is putting John Howe's putting not good, as good in some positions as Elliot Lee, but I still feel that when Howe's going to come back, Lee probably won't be starting anyway, so I didn't want to start the player only for him to buy the player as a short-term replacement when I've already got two other players who can fill that role and get 20-odd goals between them, or each. But Tyrone Robinson, Tyrone Robinson is a player that I will potentially be trying to get him. He's technically a left-sided player, but he can play on the right-hand side. And I feel that between him and the Silva Lopez, these are two good players. But it's just me wanting to get strength and depth in every position. Yes, Robinson will be young, will be older by a year, but I felt that. If I got strength in depth, I was able to do what I wanted and to reduce the goods I felt were necessary. It does help that Robinson's also a free agent, but yeah, I just wanted to get strength in depth and ensure that we, if someone was to mess up or if someone was not good enough for that position or just got injured, we had cover good enough 
to ensure that we didn't have any issues. But yes, um, that's all that's really going to be happening for this video. So this is just a summary and this is a day late. Um, I wasn't expecting to be as busy as I was yesterday on Saturday, but yeah. Anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Hope you like and favourite this video. It will really help me out a lot. So anyway, until next time, goodbye and well, good night.